I'll grow up was um, Maradri Man. I grew up in New South Wales. And I'll come to Victoria in the age I was 10. Yeah, we grew up just it was, um, with my cousins and my aunties and uncles and, and my seven I was in the family, my brothers and sisters. And um, they were good days, like I remember. His dad always just take me like, fishing and show me how to live off the land and stuff like that. And um, yeah, two my mum uh, passed away, and then I ended up, they took me. First of all, adoption was a, a legal adoption. They um, first they said they got me out of a year's paper from Queensland was a program going on, and this was an adopted family, mm -hmm. and they ordered me through the mail. They um, adopted me, had me for six or seven months. And then they stuck me in the institution, stuck me in the boys' homes. There was no indigenous people in there. It was only two of us. There was another guy. And um, but they kept us separated. If we talked to each other, he was he was in another cottage for a family. But we used to come over weekends and stay where we were. And if we talked to each other, they um, used to make us fight each other. <laughs> that was their rule. Dad was fighting for me rights to get me back home. It took him since the age of 10 to the age I was 15. And he sent me older sister down. She found out where I was in the boys' home. And um, she went back and told him. And then my dad and my auntie, my mum's sister, she, um, they organised to try to get me out. They, but they couldn't until I was 15. I never gave up. They had no legal rights to take me in the first place. I didn't even know I was adopted. I thought I was just fostered or... I, till I got an original document, so... At first, well, they said I was born Thomas Gowns, and that's how they got adoption for me. When I went back from the other records, they found out when I was first born, I was born under Thomas Christian. So and then after that, I found out they had another basket. They had Dean Thomas um, Miller, uh, Thomas Christian. They gave me one, two, three different birth dates I was born, two places I was born and grew up was in Finlay. So my identity, I had so many identities that I was just, you was from the day I was born, I was always my dad's name, Thomas Lyons. I had to prove that I was that person. Um, I challenged me Parents, that, they weren't my parents. They challenged their marriage. I got married, me and my wife. We um, got married and they made out. They said we weren't married. I've been with my wife for 40 years, you know, a long time, and um, I reckon we're not married. Yeah, something's wrong with that system. You, you're married one minute and next minute you're not. So I don't understand that. No one can deny you your rights. That's who you are. Especially with identity theft, well that's what they did to me, it's the identity theft, they took everything away from me, made out I didn't exist on this planet. So it was really hard because my wife, we made so many phone calls to other lawyer, law firms and, and I guess rack it all up, it would have been about probably 20 phone calls we would have made to different law firms and they all said no. 
and at the time I was stressed, I was just couldn't really cope with much things and I guess it was brick walls every time I rang up a lawyer and I said no it's not for us and I thought well you're there to do it, help people and I thought you were in the process to help people and then I thought no. It was pretty quick, like um, I got my lawyers and they put us on the right track and, and I'm grateful for that. <laughs> At first they were made me feel um, comfortable when I went into to see them. So down we talked about what happened. It was hard to find someone that just give you that <laughs> strength to go forward. If they would have said no, I guess I'll be still nowhere. <laughs> you just need one person to believe in you. And there is good lawyers out there and people that do believe in people and help you. Without the, without the lawyers and that, I'll be, be still going in circles and getting nowhere. Yeah, so oh, my best of it will be still in the mail. Court was um, very stressful. Um, I guess it brought a lot of old wounds up, like when I was a kid and had to face those traumas in boys' homes and. I had to relive most of that again. But the court system, the judge that day, she made it easy for me, like. And I guess she was a judge that believed in rights. And it was good to have family there for their support. And just to show that the, um, the courts that I had, I was had a family that, um, but they were tried to take that away from me and my identity. Without my family, they wouldn't have had our identity. They would have took their identity, and my grandchildren, and my children away. And yeah, it was. Like they were just weren't down to ten eight, they were down to three generations. Sometimes I looked at it and I thought, geez, I've got to keep going. And she kept pushing they my family always pushed me like, don't give up and boy. We come from a polite and bad man, so we never give up. Like, well, without your identity, you nobody. And um, my dad fought for his rights, and we are somebody. And I guess if it happens to me, it could happens to anybody. I mean, it, you are that person. If they take that identity away, you haven't got a family. You've got nobody. <laughs> so who are you? At the end of the day, I like I like to have my family around me. To me, like I grew up outside my family, <laughs> and now I got I found my roots back to my family. And without family, I don't know where I'd be today. Like <laughs> it's it's hard. Like you you go through a lot of stuff, and I guess at the end of the day, you got your family your backbone of you and it keeps you strong and and put for you you know you believe in and it's the main thing with my family and I know down the track they always will be there for me. Like the sport sport's always there for me and, which is good. <laughs> you know, I never had that since I was taken from my dad like I was only 10 and I guess it was hard 
to grow up without a family till I was 15 and then I had realised I do have got a family that loves me and for my rights. So yeah, it's it's like yeah, it's like winning Tesla a little bit better. <laughs>